Welcome to this video. Now the purpose is to go through the Arbor app, the Satchel One app and the Scopay app from a parent point of view and give you an idea how to do the initial setup. Now this is going to be demonstrated using the Android apps, although the apps for iPhone and iPad are virtually the same. I should also note this is recorded from a real parental account, so you will see blurred information on screen. That information will be the personal information for your child. Now we're going to start off looking at Arbor, which is our management information system. This contains information about your child's timetable. It also allows you to see and edit your personal information like your mobile phone numbers, email addresses and so on. And also achievement points, negative incidents and attentions. So when you launch the app for the first time, the first thing to do is to enter your email address. If your email address is stored on our system, then it should list Norton Natural School amongst the schools that are there. And as you can see, my email address is actually registered at two schools that use Arbor. Now, if you know your password, then enter your password. If you don't know your password, you should be able to click forgotten password, and that will send you an email to that email account for you to reset your password. Now, once you have your password entered, that will take you into the app. Now, the three dot menu on the bottom left gives you access to the different sections in Arbor. Attendance, behavior in particular, with a text menu below, a link back to the main dashboard and your profile, which allows you to look at and edit your mobile numbers, email addresses and so on. Behaviour covers behaviour, achievement and attentions. Now, obviously, because this is the start of the school year, there aren't any particular incidents here, but they will expand automatically should there be any incidents. The messages section allows you to create a message. In this case, a little test message that we created just to make sure the system was working. You can click send a message and tap in a message which will automatically be emailed through to information at nks.kent.sch.uk. Now under my account, you can also click help, which takes you to the Arbor support page. This will tell you anything you need to know about how to use Arbor. Now you can also log on to Arbor using the website. The website provides far more facilities. For example, you can see the student's timetable on the web version. More facilities are being added into the app as time goes on. Now let's switch over to Satchel One. Satchel One is our homework platform. And so both for students and for parents, this gives you the opportunity to see what homeworks have been set, what the status of homeworks are, and for some subjects, whether the homework has been registered complete or not. You initially search for the school, so type in Norton Natchbull, and you'll be presented with this screen. Now, in the first few days of school, you'll be provided with a parental PIN number. So if you already have a Satchel One account, for example, for an older NKS student or for a student at another school, you can simply add that PIN number to your existing account. And that means you'll actually see both children on the same app. If you've never used Satchel One before, use the second option, which will allow you to create a brand new account and use your PIN number to do the initial sign in. The PIN codes last for about six weeks. So if you set up a brand new account in the future with a new email address, for example, you'll need to ask the school for a new copy of your PIN number. However, once you sign in, you will actually see the welcome pack appearing on screen. And on first login, it will take you to the Satchel One Parental Help Guide, so you can have a little look through and find out how things work. Now, if you have more than one child using Satchel One, you can switch between those child accounts using the arrows at the top. And once you're on your particular profile you're looking for, in this case, an NKS profile, you'll actually be able to see your child's timetable. Now, in this case, because this is being recorded in the summer holidays and we haven't moved into the new school year, the timetable actually appears blank. But this will be populated with their timetable once we're into the school year. Now, the homework section is where you'll spend most of your time. Now, if I click show all tasks, you'll see an upcoming section, a past section and an overdue section. Now, again, because this is the summer holidays, there are no homeworks listed at the moment, but you'll be able to see a big long list of the homeworks. If you click on the homework, you'll see the task itself, and you'll also see any attachments that have been added in. Now, these students can also sign into the app using the Office 365 link once they've signed into Office 365 in school, and this will give them quick access to the task they need to do for the following day, and so on. Now, finally, onto Scopay, which is our payment system. Now, signing into Scopay for the first time requires setting up an account. 
and you'll notice it asks for a link code. You'll be provided with that link code in the first couple of days of term. And once your account is set up, this is what you'll see and you'll be able to look at the balances. That's the balance for the catering system. And using that, you can top up using your debit card or credit card to add more funds. And that amount will go into the basket. If you're signing up for a trip, or you're paying for something in the products range, like for example, a locker key deposit, you can simply select that item and add that to the basket. Let's add a donation to the school. Once you're at your basket, you can then check out and pay in the usual way. And the first time round, you can put in all your details and remember it from that point onwards. And you can pay using all the usual credit card options. So I hope this has been a useful little overview of the very basics. But if there are particular things you find that you can't do or want to do, then please feel free to email in and ask.